Good evening, welcome to Ben TV. My name is Steve Pereira and you're with Quedia, our show on all things queer and all things media. Though we seem to have taken a rather lateral approach to what we consider media and we have all kinds of things for you. Today we're very proud to have with us Nicolette Forte, who is a singer who's just launching a new single and is embarking on a tour of Victoria. Nicolette, welcome to Bent TV. Thank, Thank you, you for being much. with us. Oh, cheers, I'm happy to be here. I've been listening to the single and I can't think of anybody who's more appropriately named. Which, Forte. Thank you, yeah. Well, hey, it, um, it does mean loud and strong, so that's what I'm singing. I'm singing out loud and, and I'm trying to be strong. If there's a musical style to, what genre do you, do you, is, is your song, would you classify it as? Yeah, I mean, it's an interesting question nowadays, especially because everybody's kind of doing a, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. But if I had to say, I would, I would say it's, it's pop, first and foremost, um, but with an undertone of, of soul, you know, and I suppose it's a little bit rootsy, a little bit folky as well. In marketing speak, when you, you know, with music now, it's all about marketing and you've got a very specific look and a very specific sound. Is this something you're working towards? Is this, I guess, is it manufactured or is it authentic? Oh, well, you just have to check out my Facebook page and see what I wear on the weekends. Um, no, to be honest, I, um, I you know, as, as a teenager, I kind of tried to fit in a lot more and, mm. you know, what are, what are all the other girls wearing? I'll wear that too, because you kind of don't want to stand mm. out. But then I had this moment where I realized I, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't like everybody else. And, and, you know, I either had to embrace that or, or go against it. And, and so I just went, you know what, I, I love color. I've always wanted to have dreadlocks, so I'm gonna go get dreadlocks, you know. Um, I, love, I love wearing ponchos and moo-moos and, you know, I'm, I'm a bit of a, a, a free spirit, I suppose. Your album is very colorful as well. Now, this is a very personal story. Yeah, it is. Um, this is probably like out of anything that I've ever done musically. It's probably mm. the most personal uh, song that I've ever released, and and also story. I suppose I'm I'm giving a lot of myself uh, through this project, but it's also something that I feel really strongly about. So I'm more than happy to just, you know, bear my soul for this for this cause. And your other songs, is this part of a, an album that you're putting together? Is this the, the first single in the album or is this...? Um, no, it's, uh, I, I did a, a, my first EP mm. mini album last year. Uh, and this song is, is really separate from that. I mean, I plan on doing a, a follow-up EP next year. Um, but this, this song, I suppose it was very intentional that I released it just by itself because um, also, I'm, I'm not uh, planning on gaining any profit or you know, monetary kind of uh, stuff from, from this. I just want to put it out there to the world and, and you know, in the hope that, that you know, young people who kind of uh, are going through a bit of torment going, man, am I the only person that's feeling like this? Like, you know, why, why, is, why is the world like this? Like, I just want to love another person. Like, what's Regardless the big deal? Regardless of the gender. Yeah, like, what's going on? Like, I want them to be able to find that song on on YouTube or on Facebook or on SoundCloud and just go, oh, there's other people that are, that are singing about love and, and I'm not alone. So that was the intention. That's great. Now, the idea of a, com of a community radio station tour is something that's new to me. I, I knew people went and did performances and on, on, on radio, but that was part of your marketing promotional gig. Yeah. But you're actually doing a whole tour of community radio stations across Victoria. Yeah, it's How actually. Did that come about? Yeah, it's interesting you ask. I mean, um, I'm not going to lie to you. It just kind of happened. I didn't. I didn't intentionally go out and say, "Okay, I'm going to get 13 radio stations in the month of August and just go to them and play the song." It was more so that uh, lovely Sammy and Lisa from Joy FM. Uh, they've been supporting me for the last year or so when I met them uh, through my last project. Mm -hmm. And every time I, I, I ran into them, they'd be like, have you recorded that song yet? And I'd be like, no, I haven't done it yet. And they'd be like, you really got to record that song. And so finally, I just pulled my finger out and went, all right, girls, I've recorded the song. I'm ready to come on, on Joy. So, um, so I went on and recorded, uh, well, released it last night, uh, live on air. And then I kind of said, well, you know, why stop there? Maybe I'll, I'll try another radio station, contacted another one. Well, that's good news. All right. Well, maybe I'll try another one and another one and another one, and then it just kind of happened. So, joy inspired you to put this music together. Well, more or less. I mean, I they more so gave me the the confidence, and they uh, 
they just gave me a big bear hug and went, you know, you can do it, it's okay, and we'll, we'll support you by launching it on our station. So but what a fantastic story, the idea of a community station actually inspiring you to produce work, rather yeah. than the other way around, because normally people produce work and then look for a, a venue where they, can, where they can air it and get it out to the public. Yeah. You had a venue and you said, I can produce work for the venue. Well, it's interesting, this, this song, um, this brings me to a, an interesting point of the whole project. Um, I didn't actually write the song this year. I, I wrote it 10 years ago. So um, I'm 26, I just mm -hmm. had my 26th birthday and I wrote it when I was a 16-year-old schoolgirl, kind of um, just, you know, sitting on the end of my bed just writing about uh, love and, and my partner that I had at the time that it was really kind of controversial and, and we just felt like we, you know. Why were, was it controversial? Well, a, a lot of reasons, but mainly uh, we were two uh, private schoolgirls uh, at this school that didn't have gay people. That of wasn't, course not. That wasn't no. Yeah, hey, there was no gay people back then. Of course, well, at least they weren't. They weren't out about it, you know. Yeah. And uh, it was just a really hard time because you, you know, as I said before, you don't want to be that that person that's just really different and that gets picked on and that gets you know left out of everything just because they you know, love someone that happens to also be a female. But unfortunately, that's how it was for, for us. And uh, I used music as a, a form of therapy, you know, for myself, because I felt like I, I couldn't talk to anyone about it. And so what I did instead was I, I'd write journals, you know, like yep. I'd keep a diary. And I started just playing guitar and I started singing along and humming along. And before you knew it, I had these songs that were just my uh, emotions, just, um, you know, kind of, that I had as a collection of, uh, it was a therapeutic thing for me. Fantastic. Yeah. So you're going to be on Joy coming up and then a couple of other radio stations. I'm looking to fly very rapidly. Uh, Yarra Valley, you're all over the show, all over the place. Just yeah. keep turning the dial and you'll find you. Yeah, well, all over Victoria. That's, that, was the, um, that was the idea, yeah. Well, thank you so much. The music that you're hearing in the background is Nicolette singing. Um, and you can, if you get onto our website, you can hear more of it. Thank you so much, Nicolette, for being with us here today. Well, thank you very much Wish for having me. Wish you all the best on your career. This is fabulous, fantastic. And it's good to know that you're part of the larger community. Yeah, As a sure. Nicolette, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, you've been on, on Quedia. We'll be back with more later.